holiday cooking in high gear, maybe your favorite recipe calls for some herbs and spices. But a surprising new report from Consumer Reports reveals lead, cadmium, even arsenic in some popular spices. Here's more on what Consumer Reports testing found and some ways to minimize the risk while keeping the spice in your life. What would cooking be if you never used herbs and spices? I cook a lot of beans and rice, and then, of course, there's always some type of meat. So if I didn't use herbs and spices to cook, I really feel like there wouldn't be any flavor. It wouldn't taste good. But according to a new Consumer Reports investigation, flavor is not the only thing those pinches and those dashes are adding to your food. We tested 126 products and found that roughly a third had combined levels of arsenic, lead, and cadmium high enough to raise health concerns. In 31 products, levels of lead were so high, they exceeded the maximum amount anyone should have in a day, according to CR's experts. Oregano and thyme were found to be the most troublesome, with all of the products tested having levels CR experts find concerning. The American Spice Trade Association says it's almost impossible to rid spices of all heavy metals because of, quote, the unavoidable presence in the environments where they're grown. So when you're shopping for herbs and spices, what should you do? The good news is we found plenty of spices below our threshold of concern, such as black pepper, curry powder, coriander, saffron, white pepper, and garlic powder. One tip, think about growing and drying your own. It's easy to do even if you don't have a green thumb or an outdoor garden. And CR also recommends giving your spices a good sniff now and then to check if they're still fresh. If you can't smell the spice, regardless of how long you've had it, it's probably time to throw it out.